know, I'm in a little kind of safe cocoon of a finished room. I'm based um, right now in my bedroom. <laughs> Give us a little tour of what we can see behind you. Well, I've got flowers from our gardens and also some left over. It was my birthday last week, which was quite weird, not being able to celebrate with anyone. So I got lots of lovely flowers. Um, some champagne. <laughs> yeah, definitely we're all drinking quite a lot more in our family to um, get through this. I've got a couple of really nice pictures. One I bought from an auction and um, tenants. Actually, it wasn't tenants. It was a local... Um, auction house up in Yorkshire and the other one my husband got given for his 40th birthday but I've recently bought quite a few pictures from Tat London and um, so a shout out to Charlie he's got some brilliant stuff and then a lovely new lampshade which just arrived this week um, which is waiting to go on one of our Salves and Graham lacquer lamps but they haven't arrived yet um, and then a really nice um, mahogany side table which I just got from Selling Antiques this week I'm quite obsessed with buying antiques online, much to my husband's dismay, because it's pretty much what I do every night when I get into bed. Um, yeah, I've got one of the lamps, because I'm in London, so I got it early. Um, when we first started talking about this last week, um, I was not very well, and I'm still recovering, but so I did actually spend quite a lot of time in here last week. I think that probably what I've got behind me shows that Mary and I are very good business partners. I have a chest that I recently bought from um, an online auction house. Lots of vitamins and minerals behind me <laughs> this, um, and tissues and some flowers to cheer me up as well. I mean, have you done anything um, knowing that you were going to be spending a lot of time here? Just generally filling my house with flowers more than I would normally do I think and in sort of all rooms where possible. For us we had to create office spaces in the home. Guest bedrooms you know best will in the world we're not going to be having guests to stay very much in the next few months so um that is a space that you can just say okay right now this does not need to be a guest bedroom this will be a really lovely office either of you able to tell us what colors you've got around you i have got probably everyone's favorite pink um on the walls of my sitting room which i think most readers of house and garden could probably guess it's from edward bulmer and it's jonquil which i can testify is the best pink colour there is. And then on my fireplace, I painted that in um, Farrenball's Bancher and also lots of pops of really bright yellow, which I'm grateful for now as well, because I've got a pantry and I painted the whole of that in sort of egg yolk yellow. And it's just so cheerful when you go in there. I am currently surrounded by Stone 5 um, from Paint and Paper Library. Um, and I used it on every surface. I used it on the woodwork and the walls um, here, um, just to really create a nice calm environment for my bedroom. Have you been doing lots of social video calling? I think we'd all go a bit crazy if we didn't have that interaction. I'd say the people that aren't very good at it, my mother, who is 80, so I'm gonna cut her a bit of slack, um, quite often just gets up in the middle of a call and starts sort of doing jobs and things and all you can see is you know her neck and she doesn't realise that that's not particularly helpful. The call that we had for Mary's birthday last week was the uh, last one before I took to my bed but the um, I did do my hair for it and I did put a nice top on and I was a little I, I think I did actually wear nice trousers but I was tempted just to put jacksy bottoms on at the bottom. Have you guys had any um frustrations with regards to your work? We we haven't got any installs booked in um, at the moment, right at the moment, just none of our projects are at that stage. Um, we had some installs uh, just before this happened. So um, in that sense, it's really good because I think if, if you were trying to install it, it'd be really difficult now. Um, but our clients are really positive and really want to keep everything moving forward. I'm very glad to hear it. Mm -hmm.